Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, today I have come with another amazing problem from electrostatics. Uh, so this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and UN Academy together. And name of this problem is uh, potential of a modified disk. It's an uh, original problem. Uh, guys, my upcoming courses on UN Academy will be INPHO Foundation and JE Advance for 2023. It will start on Feb first week and uh, this will be a very unique course where uh, in theory itself we are going to cover uh, all uh, the needed uh, concepts required for olympiads and main, main focus of this batch will be on inpho all right and uh, yes there will be a series of mock tests starting uh, from feb 1st for je 2021 mains and uh, a lot of classes will be lot of such mock tests will be on uh, uh, free classes also and uh, also on plus platform so try to access those uh, uh, mock tests they will be definitely helpful for uh, all of you those who are writing uh, je 2021 and uh, for advanced try to access my theory courses they are all advanced plus plus levels and it will give you a unprecedented boost in uh, J preparation for sure and uh, to unlock any free course on uh, unacademy you can use my code Nitin sir and trust me physics will never be the same again you can visit uh, www.unacademy.com for more information all right so here is the statement of uh, this problem there is a composite disk having charge densities as sigma 1 and sigma 2 as shown in the figure the portion having radius R1 has ch charge density of sigma 1 and the portion having uh, uh, radius R2 has charge density of sigma 2. Find the value of potential at point P. Now, definitely it is going to be a uh, non-conducting disk. That's why such kind of uh, arrangement is uh, possible. So let's discuss the concept part here. So in order to solve this question, we are going to use the result of potential at the edge of the disk, which uh, if you know this uh, result, then directly you can solve this question in one line. And uh, here I am going to tell you a method which is very unique and uh, very easy in order to derive this uh, result just within two minutes time. So let's discuss this, uh, the potential at the edge of the disk. So as you can see here, uh, this disk is uniformly charged with the charge density sigma. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take at a distance of R, I'm taking element of thickness dr and this element is at an angle of theta also from the central line here. So due to this small charge potential at point P, I can write uh, this is going to be uh, nothing but uh, dq is equal to sigma dA. This is the charge on it and due to this charge, we can write the potential here which is uh, k q by r formula we can use for it now mm, the area of this element if you see this element carefully this length is going to be r d theta and this length is going to be dr so area of this will become r d theta and into dr now so i can write this uh, charge q as uh, dq as sigma r dr d theta so when I'm using the formula of uh, dvp, which is kq by r, where q is the charge of this element and this r is the distance from uh, point p. So if I substitute the value of dq, I'm going to get uh, this rr gets cancelled. And finally, I'm going to get this uh, dvp is equal to k sigma dr d theta. Now I'm going to increase, uh, see if I substitute the value of angle theta, then my limit will go from here to here and it, it will be as good as another uh, method which is uh, slightly tricky and uh, painful but if i integrate d, dr first so my limit of this element will go from here to here now this length this length is actually 2r cos theta so here integral dr this limit will go from 0 to 2r cos theta and this will become 2r cos theta here so basically i'll get this entire triangle when i integrate this entire triangle uh, part i'll get i hope you can see this part this triangle i'm talking about here this due to this part potential at point p uh, can be written as uh, 
integral dr here dvp is equal to k sigma 2r cos theta d theta now here you can uh, see this entire uh, triangle kind of thing its a potential is this much now if i add all such triangles ranging from minus pi by 2 say plus pi by 2 i'll get the potential of entire disk so angle theta limit will go from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 when i simplify this integral becomes 2 so 2 and 2 uh, all these things will get cancelled 4 also will get cancelled uh, so finally i am going to get sigma r by pi epsilon naught. this is going to be the result for the potential at the edge of the disk so you can see compared to traditional method this is much shorter and uh, better method uh, and uh, i'll request you guys to remember this answer directly it will be quite handy in solving uh, uh, problems involving disk and uh, the point lying in the plane of the disk so because here now this original system uh, i can write it as superposition of two disk one is having radius r2 and having charge density of sigma 2 another one uh, is having charge density of sigma 1 minus sigma 2 so that when i overlap this here like this so in this part uh, charge density will become sigma 1 and here it will become sigma 2 i hope you can uh, understand this part so now two different results will come sigma r2 by pi epsilon naught i am using this result potential due, uh, due to bigger one at point p similarly potential due to the smaller one having charge density sigma 1 minus sigma 2 so this will become sigma 1 minus sigma 2 times r1 by pi epsilon naught when, when i further simplify this it, it is going to give me sigma 2 times r2 minus r1 by pi epsilon naught and sigma 1 r1 by pi epsilon naught. this is going to be the final answer for this problem so it's pretty easy if you remember this uh, uh, result otherwise you must know how to derive this uh, result as well then it's slightly challenging uh, problem but uh, if you know this things are much easier so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, video and it would have given you another insight on uh, uh, how to derive potential at the edge of the disk compared to the traditional method so if you have enjoyed this solution please leave a like share this video with the others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another video thank you thanks for watching it